Uh, we got. We'll start off with all the tough stuff first, and then uh, I, I guess the first one's the tough one, and then everything else is kind of okay. But yeah, okay. Don't worry. We'll jump right into it. So we got our first topic here. Uh, we got Jonathan Majors is arrested. All right. So uh, this comes to us from Variety. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it says Majors was arrested over the weekend in Manhattan and charged with assault and harassment following a domestic dispute with a 30 year old woman, according to authorities. After New York police responded on Saturday to a 911 call at an apartment in Chelsea, Majors was taken into custody without incident. The unnamed victim was later taken to the hospital with minor injuries to her head and neck, according to authorities. And this is a quote. <clears throat> Mr. Majors completely denies assaulting the woman, his criminal defense lawyer Priya shot off. Oh, it's a girl, my bad, said in uh, Thursday's statement. She also alleges that it was Majors who called 911. The police arrived with the paramedics as is standard procedure and arrested Mr. Majors due to an NYPD protocol requiring arrest in certain circumstances, Chaudhry added. She also uh, disavowed any allegations, now she's British, that he had done anything to her you, and confirmed that, that Mr. This, Majors this told serious, 911 man. because this... of her mental condition. Um, okay, <laughs> TLDR, TLDR, uh, they're, they're claiming that he didn't do anything wrong and the lawyer is very confident that Mr. Jonathan Majors is gonna be innocent and all this serious stuff will be, you know, it'll it'll we'll get through it and everything will be fine. Um, but yes, you're right, Raul. My apologies, everybody. It, it, this is a very serious thing. Jonathan oh, Majors, man. he's getting into it right now, so it's oh, kind man. of it's kind of frustrating. Jo Raul, I want to hear your thoughts about this first because I've got everything in my head, but my brain's going everywhere. Ooh, I mean, okay. Let's let. First of all. This is not just anytime you hear anything about this in general, this is just, it's so disappointing to hear um, just because you hear something about, for example, somebody, you know, somebody like Jonathan Majors, really great actor. I mean, we, we've seen him already pop up in a few things now and he's shown a lot of promise. And so it's really kind of sad when you see people like this uh, kind of, these things come out about them, these little dark things that come out about them. Um, allegedly, you know, uh, and, and we, we still, the truth will eventually show itself at some point, but the, this is already, this is not a good look. Um, and if that is the truth, that is horrible and should, you know, um, you know, that should be, uh, he, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it's just bad. It's bad. If this bad is news. true, it's horrible. And you know, you, you should not be, people should not be, be doing this to women, you yeah. know? And totally. so it, this is just, it's not okay. And hopefully if that's the case, then he gets, you know, tried accordingly and, and, you know, sentenced accordingly, uh, accordingly. And, you know, so, uh, but yeah, so that's just the general kind of thing about that. Now, I think as the, far as, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say the, the lawyer also claimed that, you know, the, the, the victim, uh, also said she, let me just read this quote, this final quote that I, I was totally going British on. She, she also disavowed any allegations that he had done anything to her and confirmed that Mr. Majors called 911 because of her mental condition. Um, so you're, you're already getting evidence, I suppose, that the person who was so-called assaulted, uh, was saying that she was not assaulted like everything that happened happened for a reason and it wasn't that he was just beating her down or something like that something right. happened between the two that none of us know about you know we don't have all the full details there's been other things that have come out lately about this specifically about the quote-unquote evidence that has come out and it doesn't look it still doesn't look good for jonathan majors if anything um and i'll have to find the source but basically what i've what i've seen is that these texts don't really exonerate him if anything um the texts make make it look like she's being forced to write to write this mm. um and again i'll i'll have to find i'll have to find the source for that but that's that's there have there have been developments that have come out since this initial story which came out on march 30th by the way just to just to put that in perspective yeah um but there's been other stuff that has come out about this so-called evidence that still doesn't quite doesn't quite clear things up 
Hey, fellow geeks, this is a post recording I'm doing right now for a quick second. I just wanted to read a little bit of more of the text message information for you guys in case anybody wanted to know what the text messages had. Uh, it does make a lot of good points for Raul as well uh, from what he's mentioned. So I'd like you guys to listen to this. Uh, an attorney for Jonathan Majors released text messages on Thursday that he claims came from the woman who he is accused of assaulting in which she appears to take the blame for the fight. According to the messages, which have not been independently verified, the woman wrote Majors afterwards that I quote unquote I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone she also said that she was angry that majors had been arrested and that she had made clear that the charges did not have her blessings quote again I reiterated how this was not an attack the woman allegedly wrote the person who sent the text also indicates that she had injuries and that we had a fight the article goes on to say stuff about uh, how the woman allegedly wrote, uh, please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did. And I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure to we'll, we'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Just call me when you're out. I love you. In the follow-up text messages, which was sent a few hours later, she says, They just called again to check on me, and I reiterated how this was not an attack, and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. I read the paper they gave me about strangulation, and I said point-blank this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team, and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm going to do all I can in my on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was, uh, was to do with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior out of care she promised all will be relayed so clearly this is a very messy situation does it show us signs of a toxic relationship i think so that's up to you to decide as well uh does this give us the idea that the attorneys forced her to send these messages Maybe we're not really 100% sure about that. Something else I should point out is that we haven't seen Jonathan Major's responses to her text messages. So again, we, we don't know the full on story of what's going on. All we know is that this is a complete mess. But please make sure that you collect as much information about this topic specifically before you make strong opinions, because this is a very, very sensitive topic. Also, I want to make it clear that no matter how messy the situation might be, violence is never the answer. There should never be an excuse for that kind of nonsense. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled podcast episode. Yeah, well, and also there, there's some other articles that have been coming out during April, beginning of April, claiming that a bunch of companies have been dropping Jonathan Majors for yeah. a lot of ads and stuff like that. So, you know, that, that <coughs> I totally understand. Like, it, it makes total sense. If I was running a company and I had Jonathan Majors as the lead of my, my ads, and now he's doing this, I, I just don't want to be caught up in that mess right now. So whether or not he's guilty, because we haven't had a confirmation just yet, um, I, I, as a business owner, wouldn't want him to be a part of my stuff for now. You mm -hmm. know, if something were to be, if everything turned out all right and every, he cleared his name, then fine. But right now, it's it's a good business strategy to keep that away from yourself and just let them figure this whole thing out. Um, you know, one of the things I, I'm thinking about is, how do his other movies affect this? Like, how does this affect his movie roles? Because um, he he was just one of the stars in Creed Three. He was just the star in the Devotion film. Also, he's Kang the Conqueror. Marvel must be say, sweating uh, bullets right now. This is this is the white elephant in the room. I mean, yeah. What what does Marvel do with this? Yeah. And apparently, there's been. I'm sorry if you had. If I no no go ahead that. go ahead. But apparently, that it has also come out that Marvel is currently talking to. Jonathan Majors reps to kind of uh, look at their options, mm. I think is what, what the, the quote has said, to look at options. And who knows what the hell that means. Yeah. Um, options, but, options as in finding someone else or options as in like, ex options. That's it. Options. That's, that's, mm. that's all, that's all that has been said again. Well, I, I don't know what the hell that means. Um, well then Raul, um, let me ask you this. If Jonathan Majors did do what he did, and Marvel decided to let go of him, would you want to see another actor replace all the Kangs and all this other, all these other characters that he's going to be playing in uh, the Marvel universe? I mean, they'll have to recast. Have I, to, mean, yeah. I mean, Kang is now, the ball's rolling on Kang. Mm. The, the, Kang is now such a big part of what's to come. I mean, he's the freaking Thanos of this, these next three phases, you know? There's no, 
you can't turn that back. You can't rewrite Kang Dynasty. You can't write, rewrite Secret Wars if, if, you know, if he happens to be involved in that. He's the overarching threat of, for the next, you know, two, three years now. Mm. So, like, dude, there's how, no way how you, you can just get, write him out. He just gets to the prime of his career and suddenly this one thing dips him all the way back it down. It really does suck. Like, he's he has just now kind of start started to hit his stride as far as fame and getting, you know, decent work, both, you know, dramatic work and these big budget kind of superhero films. So, you know, he's, he was, a, he was the guy on the rise. He was the guy we were all looking out for, you know, he's the one to watch. And then this happens and it's just so ill-timed and it just doesn't look good for him. So, you know, we've already talked about in general, what this means for him yeah. and, you know, how horrible this is, if this, if this turns out to be true. But now we're kind of shifting over, right? We're talking about specifically Marvel. What does Marvel do with this? What are their options? They say they're looking at options. Kevin, what do you think these options are? I mean, based on this conversation so far, there, there's a couple of things they could do. They could just not do anything. That's option number one. Mm -hmm. They could just say, hey, let's pull an Ezra Miller and uh, just stay silent until everything kind of dies down. And then we'll just move on with our stuff, you know, whatever we got to do. Because it looked like it worked for some actors. Why not for Jonathan Majors? Um, option number two, yeah, fire him. You know, obviously, you know, we, we'll replace him with someone else. But who would want to replace Jonathan Majors and be the next Kang the Conqueror in a multiversal film? I don't know. Um but that's going to be really big shoes to fill, you know? And also the thing is like, oh, because I've heard people say, oh, well, you can easily replace him with another actor because you can just say he's a variant or whatever. And, okay, that's fine. But how do you explain the Council of Kangs, yeah. right? The oh, Kangs just... dynasty that we've already seen. Spoilers, by the way, for Ant-Man and the Lost Quantum Mania. Um, hopefully you've seen it by now. Yeah. Um, but yes, I mean, how do you, we've already seen the Kang dynasty. We've seen Jonathan Majors play... All these different versions of Kang who look to be the villains that we're, we'll set up, you know, later on. We'll probably see them in the Kang Dynasty. So you got to replace all those people, too, you know. Yeah. So you can't just say, oh, it's a variant because we got to specifically talk about especially those three main ones at the end in the end credit scene. Those three yeah. main ones. You can't just say those are variants if you cast another actor. Those have to be those same three ones. So... It's kind of tricky. Like, if you have to recast, I mean, we just have to... Look, I, audiences are not dumb. Audiences will adapt. If that if they recast, you know, especially if we... Especially, like, people like us who know the behind-the-scenes stuff, mm. you know, everything that's going on. Like, okay, they had to recast because the John of the Majors, you know, got in trouble, whatever. We'll get over it, right? People will get over it. If the movies are good, if the movies are fun, if people like them... You know, if, if the actor that replaces him is good, that's another thing. Like, they have to replace him with another good actor. Yeah. Um, we can get over that, right? We we can kind of forget it, that. It might be just a little harder, though, because that he... It'll be just, hard. He's just such a big character, you know? Like, that. that's... Yeah. He's literally the center of the universe now for the next... 10 years, it's, you know? It's tough. It's so tough. I, I just, I wonder, well, I guess not 10 years because I think Secret Wars is 2025 or six or something like that. Um, but I, I think, yeah. I think it'd be, it could be, I guess, as simple as doing like a, like a Iron Man 2 situation with Terrence Howard when he was replaced. Mm. Um, and, you know, Robert Downey Jr. shows up on, in the courtroom and goes, hey, did you get a haircut? Yeah, I did. Let's move on. Let's go. You know, and just, we get over it and move on. Um, but uh, I don't know. Um, I personally, all right, this is a hot take. I don't think I like Jonathan Major's performance as Kang. Uh? Uh, wait, wait on a second, hold on. Uh? Yeah, that's right. But let me explain. Interesting. Let me explain. Okay. I think I loved all of his scenes during the time when we were watching Quantum Mania and stuff like that. But once I started seeing his his uh, other variants towards the end of Quantum Mania. I just thought he was so theatrical by the end that I, there was a part of me that kind of disconnected a little bit. And uh, it took me a while to have this thought because I didn't feel this way when I, you know, when we did our movie review. Mm. Um, but I, I did get to watch Quantumania again recently and I, and I started feeling a little bit different about it. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll have a change of heart again if he ever gets the chance to play these characters again. That'd be awesome for him. Um, but listen, 
uh, abusing other people is no easy thing to talk about. Um, again, I apologize in advance for making light of nor it. Is, nor is it okay. It. Nor is it okay. Any yeah, kind of domestic, bu- domestic no, abuse. No, nothing like that is okay. I don't think fighting anybody for any reason is ever the answer. Um, unless you're punching Nazis in the face, then that's okay. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, uh, you know, this is such a delicate thing and we just, we kind of just have to wait and see what happens. 